What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another exciting episode of... Point Over News! The only news source that provides anything and everything anime and manga related. We don't bore you. We get into it. Let's do it. For no matter how you feel, get it done. No matter how you feel, get it done. No matter how you feel. Okay, people, welcome back to another episode. In case you ain't here, 65% of people watching this right now aren't subscribed, and it helps the channel, helps us grow, and all of that good stuff. If you would click that button, subscribe, hit that bell to get all notifications, so that way you're always notified when we drop a new episode of Forever News. We drop new episodes Monday through Friday, and we also got some other cool anime and manga-related videos that we drop on the weekends here as well. So, uh, yeah, hit those buttons. I don't want to waste any more of your time let's get into the stories for today okay people and first up on the docket is a little manga sales update for the series you may have heard of it called kaiju number eight it's a more i guess you would say fresh series i believe it started in 2020 if i'm not mistaken out of shonen jump plus and it has i believe six volumes out as of the recording of this video and it's had some pretty freaking amazing years of content thus far in fact in my personal best manga of the year event that i did alongside other big anime and manga content creators from youtube uh we actually gave kaiju number eight i want to say it was like the third best manga of 2021 like it's been doing great it's been doing fantastic and it's had some abnormal success to say the least considering it's not in a mainstream you know physical publication it's a digital exclusive so it's really just doing crazy things considering it's a whole new avenue so to speak of selling manga and you know digital magazine distribution and all that jazz however we got a big update it says here that kaiju number eight has reached six point seven million copies in circulation with volume six and oh my god people are not ready it's only a few more years i want to say probably if we're in 2022 right now somewhere in 2023 i'm guessing we're gonna get the big announcement that kaiju number eight is getting an anime because this is like destined to succeed if it fails it'll go along the lines of something like terra for mars because that's where i'm at with it right now i feel like kaiju number eight could have that type of attack on titan level of success however if it fails it'll go the route of terra for mars that we thought would be the next attack on titan and then terra for mars became Terra for Mars, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, 6.7 million copies already. Just so freaking astronomical to think about. That is basically averaging over a million copies per volume. Kaiju number eight, baby. If you ain't read on it, you ain't check it out, go check it out. I'm telling you, really dope stuff too because the main character is a little bit older. He's like, I believe 30 if I'm not mistaken. Like, yeah, gives you a little bit of a feel of like, well, it's a shonen type of story, but with like an older protagonist. How does that work? Kaiju number eight will show you. And it's, again, freaking awesome so far. Awesome cast, awesome threats, crazy stuff. Just really good all the way around. 6.7 million copies. Yeah. Next on the docket is an update on Tatsuki Fujimoto, the creator of chainsaw man i kind of feel like uh, i'm just updating on an author that like yo we don't really see him doing too much and he's doing a whole lot at the same time because technically like yeah we're waiting for chainsaw man 2 and we're waiting for the chainsaw man anime but he's still been dropping bombs like that look back one shot that he dropped last year was easily one of my favorite things that i read last year so i gotta commend him for that so don't mistake for a second when i say he's not doing too much he's doing a whole lot but he's not doing too much of what we particularly initially fell in love with his storytelling for which well a lot of us at the very least i know there's some people that they fire punch was there first for them but uh yeah chainsaw man it says here tatsuki fujimoto's short stories collection 17 through 21 which was one volume it was called 17 through 21 and the other one is 22 through 26 are respectively the second and third best selling volume ones in japan's 2021 fourth quarter basically from october to december tatsuki fujimoto had the second and third best best-selling volume ones it's interesting like it looks like nowadays more and more they're pushing whenever an author starts to blow up to start adding characteristics and adding certain things to the authors like they they build a brand at the same time not only just like hey he wrote something really cool like look at Hiromashima like honestly Hiromashima would be one of the top 
manga creators that I would love to collaborate with, not because of the levels of success he's reached. There's obviously, you know, more popular authors out there, but just because he looks like there's just so much to him. There's so much creativity. There's so much more to him. And that's really dope. And it seems like Tatsuki Fujimoto, you know, the way he goes out of jump, his final comments is, see ya. Like, he has an a interesting personality. And I want to say there was even this video one time that I saw, like, trending around on YouTube and whatnot of Tatsuki Fujimoto, the actual person before he blew up and whatnot. He was doing something, like, really weird, like, jumping around in a video or something. So, a funny dude all around. And either way, it's really dope to hear his work has uh, reached that level of success. That, like, yo, these are one-shots. Imagine when Chainsaw Man comes back. That's one thing that I do want to say. And I I haven't made a video on this and I may make a big full length video on this at some given point. Hopefully Chainsaw Man, they, they're not letting it burn out the flame. And what I mean by that is, yo dog, there ain't nothing Chainsaw Man right now. They ain't no, like, you know what I'm saying? They ain't no anime, they ain't no manga, they ain't no video game, nothing going on right now. So when it does return with the anime and the manga part two and all that stuff, how much of the fan base and how much of that love and, and, and waiting is still going to be left? Opposed to like, you know, when Demon Sarah ended, we still got the anime ongoing. So we're going to keep on, you know, waiting every every year and whatnot and there's still like the spin-off mangas and stuff like that like i feel like they didn't prepare enough and i feel like maybe because of also like the nature of chainsaw man that like you know it's a big chainsaw for a head you need 3d cg and stuff like that to make that happen maybe it was a bit more than they can chew because also they understand people absolutely despise cg when it's in their 2d animation so yeah that could also be an issue but yeah really interesting and very different of an approach they've taken with Chainsaw Man thus far, and Tatsuki Fujimoto, he's still cooking up, I think he's probably gonna release one more one shot, I wanna say they said, and then we're gonna get Chainsaw Man, but we'll see what the climate is looking like, I feel like there's still a strong possibility that majority of the fans are going to show up regardless, they're, they're waiting patiently or whatnot, but you know, an anime already, it's been a, a year since the manga ended, and it was announced, and all that jazz, like, yeah we'll see though i guess moving forward updates on fairy tale 100 years quest seem to be on the way in terms of the anime yeah, i know it's been a minute now since the fairy tale anime and manga had ended the original run and then it was a few years back that uh essentially a sequel manga titled fairy tale 100 years quest had started and it was literally fairy tale it straight up is it's fairy tale it's lucy or it's all the characters same cast characters i, I it almost feels like hiro mashima was so torn on ending fairy tale that he was like well what about if i end fairy tale but i don't end fairy tale what about if i just make literally fairy tale continue and just take off the branding or change the branding and whatnot and have somebody i think somebody else does the art or somebody else writes it one of the other i want to say hiro mashima writes and somebody else does the art for fairy tale andrea's quest and then hiro mashima does everything for eden zero i could be wrong on the eden zero part but i'm almost certain it's completely hiro mashima minus his staff and whatnot but uh either way uh yeah we've been waiting for a minute now because we had the big announcement that fairy tale 100 years quest is getting an anime and we just got a little update here that it says from volume 19 of eden zero that's probably one of the latest ones i'd imagine a little info about the anime adaptation of fairy tale 100 years quest details and information will be announced at any time in weekly shonen magazine stay tuned announcements should be coming soon so at the very least that means that they're prepping up they're giving a little bit of promo about like hey you know the anime and whatnot which that's not the biggest update in the world honestly it's just like a little blurb on uh, pushing a, a book or whatnot but that does mean that they want to keep people in the loop that fairy tale 100 years quest because if we just got the announcement not that long ago i want to say it was a few months i want to say it was a few months back that we got the big announcement of fairy tale 100 years quest getting an anime then i want to say maybe by the end of this year we could see something with the fairy tale 100 years quest anime and at the very least in the meantime they can be like that's one of the cool things that weekly shonen jump does like they'll show you the character designs each and every week like here's three more character designs for the upcoming you know my hero movie or whatever like they'll do things like that to get the fans hype they should do more of that like okay can we get some character designs for the upcoming fairy tale 100 years quest anime so yeah just in a nutshell them giving once again a heads up of like hey fairy tale anime fairy tale 100 years quest anime in particular is on the way keep on the lookout so hopefully again they'll throw some like more you know character designs and stuff like that as we approach just to see what things are looking like but from somebody that has read a good chunk of the fairy tale 100 years quest manga it's literally fairy tale continued on and like maybe a slight difference in the art style nothing drastic nothing that is really like oh my god like if you're with the trained eye yeah sure you're gonna catch it but for the most part you should be good yeah but fairy tale 100 years quest anime updates incoming hopefully we get something again soon i'm, I'm interested i wonder if a one pictures is still going to be the ones doing it or since they already did fairy tale they're probably not going to want to get that i don't know a1's been real iffy lately either way yeah fairy tale and years quest anime 
coming with some news sometime. Okay, people, next up, we got the top 10 best-selling manga series of the week, not the volumes, the series themselves as a collective. So let's start off at number 10. We got Bake Monogatari. That's an interesting and familiar name. Uh, with 58,818. That's crazy. They're still releasing uh, more Bake Monogatari. Is this just like back order stuff? Because again, this is the full collective. Like, is this just, you know, stuff that from old issues old volumes and stuff like that then we got at number nine oshi no ko i'm not familiar with that one but seventy-two thousand there eight my dress up darling that i just can't escape i just see it everywhere One hundred and six thousand. i probably should check it out again i don't i'm not familiar with it but i haven't heard anything horrible like a ten tie so yeah uh, then we got at number seven uma musume cinderella gray with one hundred and nine thousand. uh then at number six something a little familiar there my hero academia one hundred and twenty nine thousand. dope stuff Stuff. Then we got at number five, this series that I don't understand where this came from and just started blowing up like this. But Mystery To Unikari, however you pronounce that shit, because some people say that's not an L, that's an I. But either way, at number five with 135,000 dope stuff and then going up is the usual suspects number four kimetsu no yaiba aka demon slayer 179 number three jujutsu kaisen 200 number two kingdom 373 that's interesting that tokyo revengers actually topped the charts with 699 000. i thought it was starting to fall down a little bit but probably a bunch of those back volumes maybe they're not charting but they're all still doing a few thousand a piece that is allowing the tokyo revengers um I guess you would say, you know, franchise itself to sell a lot, but holy cow, yeah, 699,000 outdoing everybody, including Jujutsu Kaisen and the Demon Slayer. And Kingdom just always there. Always you can expect at the very least when there's sales going on, as long as Kingdom is going, Kingdom will be there with or without an anime or a butchered anime, whatever. But yeah, people, that was the top 10 best selling manga series of the week. We went through it pretty quick, but yeah, for the most part, a lot of familiar suspects, things that you can expect. Okay, people, next up, just a little bit of updates for the upcoming boruto anime and manga related stuff in particular with the novels in case you don't remember in case you missed it it was just recently a couple months back that we talked about over at jump festa what went down for the boruto announcements and it was very very interesting to say the least of um a festa in terms of it didn't really offer up new things like majority of the jump festa for the boruto naruto stage was literally recaps of the series like all the way of beginning of naruto like nobody needed that especially Especially for like a big super stage at Jump Festa. What was that all about? But there was amongst other things that were announced. Some things I guess you would say that is kind of interesting. Because hey if it's potentially going to affect the anime. Hell if it's new manga. Let's see what's going on here. And according to this recently in V Jump Magazine. It says here uh, thanks to Abdul Zoldak. V Jump Magazine advert page is highlighting that. The Sasuke Retsuda novel and the Konoha Shiden novel. Will be receiving a manga adaptation. No announcement dates as of yet but we know they're scheduled to release by the end of 2022 and if they're doing this again fairly recent i'm guessing if they're going to release it as like chapters or just like straight up books i'm guessing it's going to be like chapters right on the apps and whatnot these are probably going to come fairly soon especially if it's chapters and they're going to do it like on a, a consistent basis these are coming soon either way however they decide to release them straight up as books or chapters on on apps or whatever the case may be they're probably coming soon i'm guessing we're in february I'm guessing no later than summer and even then I'm probably pushing because if they're putting adverts now like why could you know I mean guess to keep it in the people's you know subconscious but still and I ain't gonna lie I'm, I'm excited for both of them I'm, I'm excited just in general that they're gonna do different things hopefully they're gonna take this material and you know some of the stuff that wasn't adapted yet and make some stuff for the anime because I ain't gonna lie right now as it stands where the world to anime is and I don't want to go too in depth with it or whatnot but I'm just not the biggest fan of the arca and what's going on like I've tried to watch it it's just like I can't do it I, I can't do it right now so i've kind of been letting it simmer a little bit see if i try again to jump back but with stories like those the ones out of the novels because everything i hear about the novel stories they're great they're great so they need to <laughs> hurry up and get these manga adaptations of these novels and then throw some of this stuff into the anime and you know maybe have a couple arcs also i, I believe a lot of these novels um kind of center around the previous generation like the sasuke sakuras naruto stuff like that even more into my interest like if i'm just being 100 honest with you i'm always going to want to watch something or be more excited about something especially when it's heavily you know in the plot or whatnot when it's the characters that i care about more like if you know what i'm saying i'm always gonna feel that way i'm not gonna hide that like oh no no no, no. i appreciate boruto i enjoy the boruto series i've been talking about it i've been hyping it when people said it was trash all of that good stuff i've been there for boruto 
but that doesn't mean that I don't appreciate the characters of Naruto in the series that I was with way longer more. That's just the way things go. It's not that I'm putting one down or putting one up. But yeah, I probably would have preferred getting a series, you know, about Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura opposed to having a Boruto one. And this was something also stemming from a meme that I shared and people attacking me like, oh my god, you... No, yeah, that, that was my preference. I still really enjoy Boruto and I have a great time with it. Yeah, and I went way off the rails there. But yeah, they're pimping out that they got these novel to manga adaptations coming soon for uh, some of the novels and whatnot of Naruto. Yeah, uh, look out for them. Next up, it seems as though Shonen Jump is really keeping an eye out for new talent. It seems as though they're at an expansive point right now in, in terms of the company, in terms of bringing in new staff, hiring new people, getting more uh, new blood involved. And this is another example of this because it seems as though they're searching for new talent and they're using new methods and new like rewards, so to speak, to get this new talent interested in what they got going on and see if they could bring in new people. Because I can only imagine how many people are interested in being and uh, working with Shonen Jump and how many people they've recycled through already. I'm sure they want to find like, you know, that next Masashi Kishimoto, that next Taite Kubo, that next Eichiro Oda. Well, let's read what's going on here. Shonen Jump Plus establishes quarterly award to seek out new manga talent, which by the way, there is a differentiating factor, big one between Shonen Jump and Jump Plus. They're the same, you know, still under the same publisher and all that jazz, but Shonen Jump Plus is, at the very least for me, starting to look more like it's a all ages, maybe technically more for older people in a way, uh, and, and Jump probably is going to go back to how it used to be, but that's a whole different story. Either way, again, uh, Shonen Jump Plus establishes quarterly awards to seek out new manga talent. Some of the hottest manga today, like Spy X Family and Kaiju Number no. 8, got their start on Shonen Jump Plus. The website serializes a long list of titles from Shonen Jump, other Shueisha publications, and many running exclusively on the site. And starting right now, they're looking for the next big talent for their website. The Shonen Jump Plus manga award will run four times a year once per season as a permanent fixture on the site meaning there will always be a deadline to shoot for they're looking for japanese language one shots of any length though the page does gently guide readers towards a list of one shots for a general idea of their page counts in black and white or color submitted digitally or by post professional and amateur artists are welcome to apply so long as the one shot itself has never been published professionally and isn't entered in any other competitions manga previously published non-commercially on websites of social media are permitted also and importantly artists retain the copyright to their entries so you don't run the risk of forfeiting the right to your own work by entering in the lead up to the first competition jump plus manga artists will be sharing art of their own to cheer on entrance kicking things off as a piece from tatsuya endo of anya forger from spy x family three winning one shots will be chosen each season and published on the shonen jump plus website as well as prizes of 1 million yen 500,000 yen and 300,000 yen for first, second, and third places. Finalists will receive 100,000 yen. The first Jump Plus Manga Award deadline is May 31st with any late entries rolling over to the next season's competition. The next three deadlines fall on August 31st, 2022, November 30th, 2022, and February 28th, 2023. And I see this as big opportunities again for would-be authors. Unfortunately, they're looking for Japanese language, so if you don't know how to write in Japanese and you're not, a, you know, familiar with Japanese, then unfortunately this does give you a bit of a handicap. I mean, hey, if you know somebody that knows Japanese, definitely use all the resources possible, um, and possibly you can make it happen. They have a, you know, guideline, but you could probably write a 10-page one-shot, and if you make the best, most banging 10-page one-shot ever, your, your, your thing could go. So who knows, right? This could be a good opportunity and you retain the copyright to your work so it's not like Jump can come and say, oh, no, 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 we own this now. This is ours, no matter how big it gets. So get some exposure, get some bank right there, whole bunch of good stuff. Yeah, so Shonen Jump's a new contest. You could potentially, you know, do some big things and get your name out there and possibly get your work published in a bigger fashion. Who knows, right? But yeah, people, those were all the stories we have for today's episode. Curious what you guys think. Most important part, favorite story, something that I didn't talk about that you feel like, yo, for them, you might I should have covered that definitely let me know that's all i have for this one though thanks for watching i'm for never world and as always people have an awesome day and remember the golden rule anime and manga for life boy. have an awesome day peace in it you guys just watched another episode of whatever news have an awesome day don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell i'm just saying i got you right here go ahead do your boy a favor hey yeah have an awesome one